four-time grade one winner McKenzie was a standout first crop stallion at the breeding stock sales. He had more six-figure weanlings than any other first crop sire at the Keeneland November sale, and at the Keeneland January sale, he had the highest yearling average among the first crop stallions. We talked to Gainsway's Ryan Norton about why buyers are loving the McKenzie's. McKenzie foals are really looking the part. They got real long legs, huge shoulders, really nice hips, big bodies. The trait that the McKenzie foals have the most of is the height. If you, if you have a mare that needs some, some leg, he will definitely provide that to the mare. Everyone's excited about his weanlings at the auction. How could they not be? He had 17 six-figure weanlings with an average of 135,000. That was the second highest average for a first crop weanlings, um, only behind Authentic, who started to stud feed twice the amount as he did. The $300,000 Colt by McKenzie out of Take Charge Angel had a lot of presence. Uh, once again, it had a lot of leg, like we've seen with many of his foals, um, a great hip, just had a general good presence at the sale. Um, and then being from the family of Cave Rock, you know, not gonna hurt. So it's easy to see why he brought $300,000 to Devant Latham. Mandy Post, Whisper Hill Farm, purchased Philly but out of the mare Graham Six. She was just had presence and she floated. She was a great walker. She was very athletic. Then Candy Meadows also purchased a horse for 275,000. Huge hip on that. Great walk, good body. Once again, had the height that people are looking for in these foals. McKenzie had the two top priced first crop yearlings in the Keeneland January sale and had additional four six figure horses with an average of 145,000 in that sale. With the Vant Latham, Mandy Pope, Candy Meadows and the like buying these horses, you couldn't ask for these horses to get in better hands. Whether they're gonna be, you'll see them again in the yearling sales coming up or on the racetrack, these are the hands that you'd like these horses to get in because you know they're gonna give every opportunity to succeed. The horse was very well received by the general public. He bred 214 mares his first year and bred 171 mares in his second year. He gives a lot of height, gives a lot of length of body, gives a lot of size and scope to them. The breeders can't wait for the summer and fall yearling sales. How could they not with how well the weanlings were received? The briars, I've had several pin hookers come up to me at the sales and were very upset that they couldn't even buy one. They love the way the McKenzie's look, but were bemoaning the fact that they couldn't get one. So I think you'll have some two year old guys still looking to get some of these as well. Some people forget that the McKenzie was a grade one winner at two. So he certainly has the precocity that they should come out early. So I think some of the two year old guys will be very intrigued by how these yearlings are received at the marketplace. I think it's a fantastic time for breeders to breed the McKenzie this year in his third year. They'll be coming to the marketplace as his two-year-olds hit the racetrack, and I think they're poised for some huge success. So I think people that breed now will be well rewarded by the time they take their yearlings to the marketplace.